Hello, I trust that you're doing well. Welcome to Miss Fountain channel, your go-to destination for insightful and engaging educational content. Here, we explore a wide range of topics, from science and history to technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with our carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we are going to look at uh, determining body area hair came from. Did you know that you can you can tell where a body or from which part of the body a hair came from? That is based on the different characteristics they have. Maybe by looking at the cross section, the medulla, the texture of the hair shaft. Yeah, those are some of the some of the features that can be used to to know where a hair or from which part of the body a hair came from. We're going to begin with head hair. Find that uh, these are some of the characteristics of uh, of head hair. The diameter is uniform. They have a cut tip. They have some kind of cosmetic treatments. It's and have also some environmental history like dust particles or even pollen. I um, think that uh, head hair is, is more treated compared to other types of hairs. So it's going to have some kind of cosmetic treatments compared to other to other hairs. Second one is uh, pubic hair. Pubic hair has a lot of buckling. This is uh, one of its special one of its special features. Has a lot of buckling. And also it has continuous or discontinuous medulla. We have facial hair. These are the beards. The beards are rough and coarse. They have a double medulla. They also have a triangular cross section. Another unique feature of the facial hair is that there's a lot of variation from the same individual. And this makes uh, facial hair to be less used. We have limb hair. This is hair from uh, the arms and the legs. It's glandular in appearance. That is, a, it's also similar in most individuals. It's glandular in appearance. It's shorter in length. Okay, compared to other types of hair. And also, it's arc like shape. Those are some of those are mostly the hairs that I encountered in forensics that is a pubic, facial, limb, and hand and head. And those are some of the features that I used to differentiate or to tell where the hair or to tell from which part of the body that hair came from. That's the end of our session. Today was a short one. Thank you for joining us. We hope you've gained uh, valuable insights and knowledge from today's video. Don't forget to subscribe for more enlightening content. And also, remember learning never stops. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploding.